Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for Li2CO3 plus HBr. This is lithium carbonate. This is hydrobromic acid. So we start out by balancing the molecular equation. This up here is the molecular equation. You can see I have two lithiums here, one here. Let's put a two in front of the lithiums. Those are balanced, but now I have two bromines. Put a two in front of the HBr. And it looks like that balances the equation. Once we have this balanced, we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So in general, carbonates are insoluble unless they're with a group one element. Lithium, that's in group one. So that's going to be soluble. Hydrobromic acid is considered a strong acid. And then compounds with the bromide ion, lithium, they're pretty soluble. Carbon dioxide's a gas. Water is a liquid. Now that we have the states, we split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Note we don't split gases or liquids up when we write net ionic equation. So we leave these together here. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I can see in the reactants here, I have two lithium ions and in the products, two lithium ions, spectator ions. We cross those out and two bromide ions in the products, again, two bromide ions. So those both cancel out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for Li2CO3 plus HBr. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the complete net ionic equation for lithium carbonate plus hydrobromic acid. You'll note that charge is conserved. 2 times 1 plus, that's 2 plus, so that balances out this 2 minus. We have a net charge of 0. Over here, everything's neutral, net charge of 0. So charge is balanced, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for lithium carbonate plus hydrobromic acid. Thanks for watching.